What's up guys? We're back. Some solo games. Stealing the ball off my teammate. Get it. That's in? Alright, yeah, that's in. <laughs> Close one. I shouldn't have jumped, because if that's in crossbar and out, then I can make a like a better play, but. That's cool. We'll take it. Oh god. Alright, I can wait for the bounce here, but it looked like Shadow was gonna hit it, so. I would have had a better clear, but if he's there, I'm not going to steal that from him, you know, because then it just, it gets awkward, like, if we bump. Ooh. I thought that was going to be posting out, but that was, like, posting inside the post. I read that one wrong a little bit. Eh, missed it, but that doesn't really matter here. No one's there for the pass. Get the bumps out of the way. It's just super awkward right now. Nice pass, though. That should be a goal. All right, Shadow made a good play. Make up for my lack of getting anything on the ball. Oh, almost worked. I couldn't reach the ball anymore. I wanted to, but I missed, and it turned into a fake. It wasn't a fake, but it turned into one. I'll let Shadow play for that. There we go, Shadow. Ah, oh, damn. He was watching the corner. That makes sense. You expect a better hit around the corner and not right to me. Damn. That was unfortunate. They had to see him real quick. I tried to make an adjustment. I didn't think uh, Grum was close enough. But I should have actually jumped a little higher here. I'm probably... It's probably over my head, but... That's, that was still a bad play, by the way. And I shouldn't have been that far. Like, once I'm, like, on the goal line, there's no point in me trying for a deflection. Like, they're gonna get it. Nice 50-50s. Get the ball into their end. Just see where his hit goes, basically. Got the dunk. Shadow should have a nice play here. Tried to hit Grom if I could, but... Couldn't. Uh, this puts us in a bad spot. We're good. We're good. Pass it over to Shadow. He made a pretty nice deflection. Nah, I went a little too high at the start of that. It really screwed me up. So let's head on back. Grab some boost. They're both on top of each other here, so it's not a bad time to try and attack them. I need that boost. Okay, so he has no boost. He's got to leave. I just want to kill that. I wanted to kill it towards Shadow, but it didn't happen. There. Just make the save. You know, just jump up to it. And if it's hit hard like that, just make sure your car is turned in a certain way so it goes into the corner. Like, you know, or just like a small bounce off it. Wow, that looked so weird. Oh my god, I didn't think it was an inside post shot. Didn't look like it. And then we bump. Oh god, we gotta get back quick. Ooh, just make it back in time. Oh, he just picked up the corner, I think, and then he he picks up uh, mid-boost as well, which is really unfortunate for me, because I have no boost. So, that's not good. Sometimes, like, if you know your team is behind you, try and leave those boosts if you just got a boost. Like, if you have 80 boost, just be aware that, like, don't always grab the boost. Like, I know that I've done that, too, before the teammates. And, like, everyone has. But it's always good to just keep in the back of your mind, like, hey, my teammate could probably grab this boost. I have 80. I don't really need it. It doesn't matter how much he has, because if I have 80, it's going to be good probably no matter what. So always a good thing to keep in mind, sharing boost with teammates. Because they can't really do much if they have no boost, just like you. Even though you know that you're the carry of the team always and forever. <laughs> so you want all the boost, but, you know, it's good to give your teammates boost once again. But, like, there, I pick up that boost on purpose because I know it's my opponent's boost. So I take it, make it a little harder for him. Ooh, and he gets back. He gets the revenge for me taking that boost from him. This could be a really hard shot, so I'm just, like, circling around net waiting for it. Works out it wasn't. Oh, that's a bad kill. Okay, we're good. Just trying to clear this. Didn't want to land on that uh, uh, with my wheels. I was actually trying to flip and hit it with the back of my car. Because if you do that with your wheels, like if you land on it on the way through, then it's really awkward and you can't really make another play off of it. And it's really soft. But it, um, if you hit it with your back, it's fine. It's just you have to time that perfectly. And like the timing's pretty close on that type of thing. All right, see if Shadow Centers. Ah, I just misjudged it a bit. It was a good center, though. I just fudged it. This is Shadow's ball, though, so I'm going to move up again. I turn around right away. As soon as I see that Shadow has next hit, turn around, and then that puts me in that spot. 
to get this goal. Some players are like, eh, I'm not going to trust my teammates and go back to net, but... Like, if your player should hit this ball, move up, you know? Like, depends on your level, obviously, but when you're, like, up near champion and stuff, you gotta really put faith in your teammates. If you're down in challenger, maybe not as much, but, you know. Oh, good try. Try to make him land on me. I'll just waste time. Dribble it around. There we go. Just keep it in their end. Really keep it in their end. Wasting a ton of time here. We wasted a good, like, 20 seconds. He should not have flown for that shadow because we're up by a goal and I have no boost. Which you should know after a play like that. Um, works out for us anyway, but that's just like a bad time management play. There's, like if there's 15 seconds left, don't go for the weird heroic goal. That's the only thing I would say. But that'll do it for that game. It's a it pretty solid game. Not much scoring going on, but good control in their area. We had nine shots versus the four, so... That's going to call it, though, on that, guys, and we'll see you next episode. What's up, guys? We're back for game two. This is the longest uh, time between games, that's for sure. I did uh, game one maybe like a month ago, <laughs> and now game two. It's my first, like, competitive game in a really long time. Of course, facing the freaking Weep Nation people. Oh, god damn it. Uh, so this should be interesting. This should be a good game for them because they're going to be pretty solid. All right, they all missed, though, so that's good. Maybe we can get this cleared. Wow, they're just going to keep missing. Oh, we almost got a good combo there, but... All right, let's get ready to play this. I'm going to push. I don't have much boost, though. Oh, okay. Left the net wide open. We'll take it. So I couldn't really pop that, so... Just kind of threw it at their net. But try to keep it to the side. Right there, I wanted to pop with the bounce. But I didn't get it. It worked out, though. I thought they were going to have someone back by that time. Oh, neither of us are going for the ball. That's fine. I'll just wait this out. Make sure he gets the clear. All right, now let's push. Get to that midfield. All right, so my guy rotated back, so I can move up and make an opportunity for myself. Try to pass it to myself, and then set up a second pass if possible. But it didn't really work out. Pumped one of their guys out of the way. This could be a good clear, so I'm staying midfield here. It was. Oh, I tried to just put it off my back back towards the center but we are playing on Europe I believe so the legs a little bit different uh, I probably should have scored that should have tried for a better angle got the pass opportunity but they had someone there ready for it just gotta get a piece of that ball so they don't get a clear shot nice clear by the goalie tried to move out but they had a guy so had a hustle back let's grab this mid boost while we wait for whatever type of hit comes from this. I thought about going to take that hit from him, but it looked like it wasn't going to really do anything, so I left it. Let's kill their guy. No boost for him. This is a nice pass. Went high, though, so we're good. There I took my time to get a better angle. Throw it to open space. Here I just want to throw it hard off that corner out. So you always want, when you pass it to the middle, to throw it out towards midfield, so... Your teammates can get to the ball quicker than the goalies because the ball's traveling away from them. Oh, try for the block there. He just whiffed on it. Went for the backflip. Tried to help that guy with that shot. Almost worked. Thought I got a better piece of that, but doesn't look like it. Other miss by the weebs. Not a lot of boost here. Hopefully he takes it from me. There you go. Okay, I'm going to leave. On my other teammate play up. Okay, I'm going to wait for this bounce. And clear it around that guy. He was going for the dunk, so. Had to clear it to the left. Kind of turns into a pass for a, for Orange team, but. Kind of had to. I was forced there because of the dunk opportunity that they had. No one from my team is going. I'm just going to go get boost. Surprise. Like, my team's being super passive right now. And uh, it's kind of weird. Like, sometimes one of them should come out. Like, you shouldn't have two guys in the uh, just chilling back at the same time. Ooh, that could have been a goal. Good clear. Here, I'm just going to jump off the ceiling so, so I get down a little bit quicker. Grab the mid-boost as I rotate out of here. All right. Back on our side. Getting a little bumped, but we're good. I'm the third man right now. I'm going to chill and be the third man. I think Erno is going for this. Maybe. At some point. I went for it late. I'm going to let this bounce. This is this might be bad. 
I'm trying to just kill time here. All right, worked out. Teammate got there to help me out. I'll go middle, hope for a good pass. I'm going far middle, yeah. Because I was afraid of that, but that was actually just really good clear. That was too far for me to make use. All right, I can spin around quickly here, try and clear it. I, so that I put a little too close to the wall. Like you want to keep it a little bit off the walls, so the opponents can't just drive off the wall and get an easy block. So you always want to keep it like three feet off the wall, if possible, on those. So that one was a little bit poor. All right, we got the clear back in, but my guys are still hanging up front, so I'm just chilling. Oh, that hit the last part of that diagonal. I wasn't sure if it was going to hit the flat side or the diagonal, so I waited it out. Hitting the diagonal is really bad for that play. Here's going to block angles, make sure helping out for the clear. See what they do with this. You probably won't do much. Yeah, that's not much. Ooh, tried to, like, put it center-ish. Like, I had a guy next to me, but it was like, we were both kind of sitting still next to the ball, so you can't get any momentum there. So it didn't really work. I just throw into the corner, try and pass it myself. <clears throat> throw the second pass up. No one's there, though. It's fine. It's wasting time. Like, we have a one nothing lead, so. Probably shouldn't have hit that right to him, but, oh well. Got to keep these clears up. There we go. That should do it. Try and kill the ball down a bit. All right. Get the win, and that's game number two. It's my first competitive game in a long time. So I'm happy I actually won the game and did something. Uh, but, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you for the next episode. Later.